Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of equations and inequalities, specifically how we can use given values to determine whether it makes those equations and inequalities true, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So sometimes in 6th grade, you're going to see a problem that looks like this. They're going to give you the unknown. So in this case, they're going to say k equals negative 3.5, or negative 3 and 5 tenths. And then they want you to plug it into each of these equations and find the one that works. So if this were a multiple choice test, this would be A, B, C, and D. And it would only work in one. So what you're going to have to do is plug this negative 3.5 into each of these equations. So let's see what we can do here. So we're going to replace this negative k with negative 3.5. And if you're not careful, you might think that it could work. The problem here is that the negative on the outside of the k and then the negative inside the parentheses with the negative 3.5, those two are going to cancel. And so the negative and the negative 3.5 is actually going to make it 1 plus 3.5 because this negative and this negative cancel each other out to make a positive. So 1.3.5, that's going to equal 4.5, so that's not the answer. So let's put our negative 3.5 in here. So 2k, that's pretty simple, 2 times negative 3.5. So we are going to have, well, 3.5 is times 2 is going to be 7, but the problem is, is this negative is going to remain negative. So this is actually going to equal negative 7, not 7. So if this happened to be a negative 2, that could work. But in this case, it's not a negative 2, so that's not going to work. So we have on our third option, negative 7 over k. So let's make this negative 7 over negative 3.5. So we do have two negatives here, and those two are going to cancel each other out. So it's just going to be 7 divided by 3.5. Well, and 3.5 times 2 makes 7, so this looks like that is going to be the answer. Let's double check to make sure this is not going to be correct. That's all we're doing here is we're just plugging and playing. 14, well, if that was a plus 3.5, this would work, but it's a negative 3.5, so this is actually going to be 10.5. So they're all going to be close. Your incorrect answer choices are going to be close, but only one is going to be correct. Let's look at another example. So we have a new set of expressions here. They are inequalities rather than equations because we have greater than or less than signs, but we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our unknown here, z equals 3 quarters, and just plug it in. So let's look at this first one. 3 times 3 quarters. Well, to make this a little bit easier, let me just write my 3 as 3 over 1. So I can multiply fractions straight across. That's going to be 9 fourths. So my 9 fourth is actually going to be 2 and 1 fourth. And if I bring my inequality back, they say that is less than 2. So it's actually greater than 2, so the inequality is incorrect. So let's look at this next one. We're going to take 18, and it says 1 half. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as my 1 half is 2 fourths, because I know my z is going to be 3 fourths, and I'm going to need equal denominators if I'm going to add. So this is going to be 18 and 5 quarters, or 18 and 5 fourths. So I'm going to take this improper fraction, I'm going to rewrite that as 1 and 1 fourth, add that back into my 18, so really it's going to be 19 and 1 fourth. Bring my inequality back, and it says it is greater than 19 and 1 fourth. Actually, they're equal. So I could get this correct if somehow we had a greater than or equal to, but we don't. We simply have greater than, which means that is incorrect. So we've got two left. This third one is going to be 3 quarters squared, which just means we're going to do 3 quarters times itself. So that is going to get us 9 sixteenths. Bring our inequality back, and it says 9 sixteenths is less than 1 half. That's actually not correct because I know that 1 half is 8 sixteenths, so 9 sixteenths is actually a little bit bigger. So let's hope our last one is correct. So 5z. Well, I'm going to go ahead and make it 5 over 1 because I know I'm going to have to multiply that by 3 quarters. So that's going to get me 15 fourths. Bring my inequality back. And that's going to be is greater than 2 and 1 half. Well, let's see what 15 fourths is. If you divide up, that's going to be 3 and 3 quarters. And that is definitely larger than 2 and a half. So that's our answer.